Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. We sincerely hope that you are having a wonderful day. If you enjoyed today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject, How Strong is a Domestic Cat's Bite? If your cat has ever really gotten the best of your skin, you can certainly vouch for the fact, hey, it hurts. I mean, there are certainly things, many things, far worse, but a bite from a cat, a full bite, is no picnic. While cats really don't have a forceful bite, they do, in fact, have a sharp bite. And I don't care what you're talking about, pointed teeth can pack a punch and certainly deliver some rather mean puncture wounds, while also tearing the flesh. This isn't a science channel, so we're not going to get too deep in the weeds on this one, but domestic felines have a bite force of around 20 to 75 PSI on average. PSI standing for pound per square inch. By comparison, humans have an average PSI of around 155 to 165. So while humans do have a stronger bite, cats certainly have more than enough to hold and kill prey. And the sharpness is certainly worth mentioning again. Cats have us beat in that department. Humans have rather flat teeth, whereas cats have teeth that are almost like scissors. Comparing domestic cats to the rest of the animal world, they are on the lower end when it comes to bite force. For example, the American pit bull has a 235 PSI, while the German shepherd sits at around 240. But it's all about having what you need for the job that you do. And when it comes to your cat and your skin, so much really depends on the condition of your skin. While bite force can be recognized and recorded, sharp teeth and fragile skin, even without much force at all, could cause a big, big problem. That's why it's very important to keep a rough and rowdy cat, a highly aggressive cat, away from small children and the elderly. If you are a regular to this channel, you know all about the zoomies, a wild hare as I like to call it. The cat won't really mean you any harm, but some cats just catch a vibe, if you will and playtime can turn sour in a great big hurry. If your cat decides out of nowhere that your hand is now a toy, you could find yourself on the wrong end of things, strong bite force or not, so just keep that in mind. When it comes to this topic, it's highly unlikely that your cat is going to clamp down on your forearm, for example, and you find yourself just unable to get loose. The jaw strength simply isn't that impressive, but there is a high probability of injury at the bare minimum a few tears and potential puncture wounds. And on that note, I'll turn things right on over to you, the audience of Senior Cat Wellness. Have you ever been on the receiving end of your cat's bite? Was it a bit more than you expected? More forceful, perhaps? I've had a few puncture wounds here in my day from both claws and teeth. I suppose it just comes with the territory of feline ownership. At any rate, share your personal stories right there, down in the comments section below. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.